Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to coordinate geometry system of circles. Find the equation of the circle which intersects another circle given by this equation x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equals to 0 orthogonally and passes through the point 3 comma 0 and touches y axis. So we have to find out the equation of the circle which satisfies three conditions. One, it should intersect the circle orthogonally. Second, it should pass through the point 3 comma 0. Third, it should touch the y axis. Now what's the meaning of that one by one let us see. For before that we will write down let our equation of the circle be x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 with center as minus g comma minus f and radius equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now first condition will substitute that is passing through 3 comma 0. If it is passing through 3 comma 0 we can substitute 3 comma 0 in x and y values we will have 9 plus 0 plus 2g into 3 that is 6g plus 0 plus c equals to 0 or can we write down 6g plus 9 plus c equals to 0. Let this be our equation number 1. Let us go to the second condition. The second condition is it intersects another circle orthogonally. Okay. Now what is the formula for that? The formula we know is 2 g1 g2 plus 2 f1 f2 equals to c1 plus c2. Let us substitute 2 into g1 that is minus 6 into g2 that is g plus 2 f1 that is 4 into f2 that is f equals to c1 that is minus 3 c2 that is equals to c. Hope you are able to understand this. We got 2 into g1 g2 g1 is minus 3 so 2 into g1 is minus 6 g2 is g g2 is g. Similarly 2f is plus 4 and f2 f1 is plus 4 f2 is f and c2 is c1 and c2 is c and c1 is minus 3. We just substituted them. Now this is our equation number 2. Let us club both of them and see what happens. We will have minus 6g plus 6g plus 9 plus c plus 4f equals to c minus 3. Now we can cancel minus 6g plus 6g. We can cancel c and c directly. We will get 4f equals to minus 12. That means f equals to minus 3. Let us go to the third condition. The third condition is it touches the y axis. Whenever a circle touches the y axis, the radius will be equals to x coordinate of the center. Now what is the x coordinate here? Minus g. That means radius is equals to g. Let us simplify that. We will have squaring on both sides g square equals to g square plus f square minus c because radius is equals to g in this particular scenario when it touches the y axis. g square g square will cancel. We get c equals to f square. Now we can come back here and we can write down therefore c equals to f square that is equals to 9. So only the thing we have to find out is g value now. For that let us go to equation 1 and we will say from 1 6g equals to minus c minus 9 that is 6g equals to minus 18 or g equals to minus 3. So we got g equals to minus 3, we got c equals to 9, we got f equals to 
minus 3. Why can't we go back and substitute? We will get our answer. We will write down x square x square plus y square g is minus 3 so minus 6x f is minus 3 so minus 6y plus c c value we know is equals to 9 so the equation of the circle which intersects the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 3 equals to 0 orthogonally and passes through the point 3 comma 0 and also touches y axis so three conditions we have to find out three variables g f and c because we can see in the equation we have three variables g f and c we have three conditions one orthogonally second passing through the point third touching the y axis remember whenever the circle touches y axis the radius will be x coordinate of the center similarly if a circle touches x axis then the radius will be y coordinate of the center.